Lesson 6. Metering modes. Is it important to know this? Why is it important? Because it just is. Well done, you guys. We are going to have a quick look at metering modes. Um, a metering mode is there to uh, tell your camera how to look at a certain scene and how to perceive a certain scene that you would like to take a photo of. Um, it's, a, it's a process that your camera goes through when it works out um, what the correct exposure should be of the specific scene. Um, there's a variety of, of different um, metering modes available. Um, it's likely so on all cameras. And we're just going to have a really quick look at each one of them just to see when you're going to use them and what they are mostly used for. Um, center weighted um, average mode is this one. I like using uh, center weighted and spot metering. These are my two favorite ones to use. Um, the center weighted average metering is very similar to spot metering. Um, only the area where the metering takes place is uh, is a little bit bigger. So as you can see, spot metering is really small, and uh, center weighted is a lot is a lot bigger. So the camera is is actually going to take a light reading that's going to be um, measuring this much of your frame, as uh, compared to spot or to uh, partial metering. Um, the problem with uh, with center weighted uh, metering is that the background often gets well exposed, uh, exposed, but um, might be at the expense of your skin tones or your subject being a little bit overexposed. So um, you got to make sure that uh, you use the right mode. But uh, for safety's sake, if you're starting out, for the rest of the modules, um, just use and focus on matrix. All right. Um, Spot metering mode is uh, very much similar to uh, center weighted, uh, with the um, with the difference it, it measures a really really small portion of your frame. Um, this is actually ideal. We did a had a quick demonstration a little bit earlier today, where um, I was shooting a, a subject against the the sun. The sun was behind them, and um, I just switched over to spot metering. Took the reading from their face, and. Um, and you know, it just came out really nice. So a spot metering is great when you have a backlit image, and you just want to make sure that a specific portion of your uh, of your frame is uh, is exposed well, so that you can adjust your camera settings according to that. And then uh, partial metering, um, partial metering mode collects uh, data from a small circular area in the middle of the frame. Um, it's about 15 to 20 percent, I guess. Uh, that's going to take up, um, you know, to take the, the reading from your frame. And um, it's very useful when uh, your subject is in the center of the frame and you want them to take priority uh, in the calculation of your exposure. So um, there's not a lot, a lot of difference between evaluative and partial metering, um, but it really comes down to the conditions that you're shooting in. And then um, Matrix or evaluative, um, evaluative metering. So evaluative will be Canon. Matrix will be Nikon for the Nikon users. Um, this is a, a very modern way of uh, metering a scene um, because uh, it, it will collect data from uh, from across the entire frame of your of your image, and it will give priority to wherever your focus is on your camera. So I hope this helps a little bit. Uh, please don't forget to do the worksheet directly after this one. Um, it is important that you guys actually spend a little bit of time on that. Please don't skip it. Um, it's, there for, it's there for you just to uh, show you exactly where you're at. Wonderful. We'll see you in the next session.